Hey guys, it's Reto, and today I will be trying out um, Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. So I put like five squirts here, and I've added a little bit of water already. I'll add some more later, but I wanted to try this out versus this one, um, the Adams Car Shampoo. So this one doesn't foam well with the Quad Cities water. Even if I put like 10 squirts, you know, like it still doesn't foam well. So this one, five squirts, I believe they want you to put like, I don't know, how many? So one to two ounces, right? But I've put like around six ounces, or probably like seven ounces already. And so we'll see if that foams well, but first things first, uh, we're gonna take out the plate because not everyone takes the plate off their cars when they clean it. And my neighbors all have like, they're having parties and here I am just trying to clean my car. That's fine. There you go. Like, why would you not take off your plate and have all of that dirt in there? Like, if you clean your car, it stays there and it just builds up. So I take my plate every time I clean my cars, even the Civic. So. You can see it's very dirty. So we take up the plate. Leave it here. Wear some gloves because, I don't know, it seems the right thing to do. I probably should buy like, what is that like, disposable gloves? Oh, I'm trying to wear it in reverse. But I think dishwashing gloves is just fine. I don't know. I think it's just fine. So everyone's been raving about Adam's car shampoo, especially if you've been watching Obsessed Garage, right? Um, Adam's car shampoo, the blue one, is Matt's like go-to shampoo. But you know, it, it, it what? Is it farting? Okay. But it just doesn't foam well, so uh, at least I think water plays like a huge part when it comes to foaming your car because if it doesn't have the right, I don't know, amount of minerals, I guess. I'm not being scientific here, but one of the um, one of the people at, at Matt's um, Facebook group said that I need to deionize my water if I wanted to foam really well. But you know, as you can see, I, I just don't have that type of equipment with me right now. So that's just gonna have to wait. All right. Let's do this. my exhaust is super dirty now. I haven't cleaned the car in two weeks. That's just dirty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't think I can take this out in like the first washing. Gotta loosen it up. pressure washing my car. All right, time for what everyone is waiting for, foaming the car. I'll probably foam it twice because it's, it's just super dirty right now, so. All right, chemical guys. Gotta shake it, make sure that We use up every single ounce of it. I actually think that's good enough to wash the car, so. We at least have a first coat of uh, foam on it. And then just like let it drip, so. All right. Ooh, this one foams better than Adam's car shampoo, as far as my water is concerned. Oh yeah. That's, that looks really good. Oh man, I don't think I'll, I, never thought that I could achieve this amount of foam with Quad Cities water. But then again, that was like a lot of, that's a lot of car shampoo just to get this amount of soap. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. have a lot left so
Well, that, I filled it up up there. So I used like, just a couple of it. And how much, how much pressure am I generating? Fifteen hundred. Yep, it's pretty good. So, looks like it looks like chemical dyes, um, honeydew foam. Wins. That's it, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be buying Adam's car shampoo. I'll, I'll be buying Kenko, guys, as far as foam is concerned. I mean, I'm sure they both clean just fine. But, yeah, Adam's car shampoo never gave me this type of foam, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh.